concerning your options on the approval of this uh, based on the requirements uh, stated in the statute? Walter. Well, there are two points to be aware of. Number one is the statute uh, permits a city to define, to annex a contiguous area. Um, contiguous area is defined in the statute and one uh, portion of the definition is that the entire parcel or parcels of real property owned by the person seeking annexation is being annexed. Uh, and then it goes on to say that lots shall not be subdivided in an effort to evade the requirements of this paragraph. Uh, and Jason, is it correct that they are proposing to annex something less than the entire parcel? Yes, sir. We have a, this parcel is probably around 107 or 127 acres. They're only proposed to annex 10. Now, uh, below that, however, the statute says notwithstanding the limitations uh, of what I just read, an area may be annexed by agreement between the city and the county. Um, so uh, ordinarily a city can annex without the county's agreement subject to some other provisions, but here given the uh, uh, definition of contiguous area, um, you could uh, permit it to be annexed by agreement even though it's not the entire parcel. Now point number two is um, they have provided notice and the statute um, includes uh, provisions that permit a county to object to a proposed rezoning that occurs in connection with an annexation. Um, and um, the grounds of the rezoning um, uh, may be any of the following. The proposed change in zoning or land use proposed increase in density and infrastructure demands related to the proposed change in zoning or land use. Um, and uh, for these to apply, there must be a substantial change in the intensity of allowable uses on the property. Um, so uh, that's a second independent basis on which the law permits an objection if a proposed change in zoning is problematic to the county because of the uh, density and or infrastructure demands placed upon the county. And you have a certain time period, um, 30 days to respond. And I believe Jason said the notice was received one day last week, so obviously well within 30 days. All right, thanks, sir. Any questions? I have two questions, please, yeah. Mr. Chairman. One for Jason. Uh, Jason, do we know what the property owner's wishes are in this case? No, I, I've only communicated with the city and gotten their application materials, but I can tell you that application, even though they're working through um, Mr. Brown, does have the property owner's signature on it. Okay. Um, so I've only communicated at that level. I haven't gone down to the property owner's money. Okay, second question. If this property, if we allow this annexation, will it make other properties around it necessarily vulnerable to annexation. In other words, will we'll, we'll allowing annexation of this piece of property in any way affect any other surrounding properties potential annexation where it would not have that potential now? Um, other than the fact that if this were annexed, the remainder of the parcel would be contiguous, so the okay. remainder of the parcel could be annexed as contiguous property. Okay. Any annexation of property must be contiguous to the city, okay. um, but the remainder could annex be annexed as part of a larger contiguous parcel <clears throat> already, if that makes any sense to you. Thank you. Bear in mind if this annexation does get approved that the applicants do want to connect to the county water and sewer, which is right there on the edge of the property. 
Any other questions? Okay. Hearing none.